additional filters in approvals. So as I just mentioned to a recent client, which, well, they were interested in approvals. Approvals out of the box doesn't do much that's useful in my opinion, because usually you want an approval flow to replace just people sending emails around, but that email trail at least is auditable and you can forward it on and someone else could keep it. And the approvals app, if you don't do anything with Power Automate or record that information anywhere, yes, IT admin can probably get that audit trail somewhere, but like I say, most normal people do normal jobs, going to have to go to their IT department or their external IT provider is a suboptimal experience and they want to try and just keep everything together themselves. And so the approvals app isn't great. It is good though if you use Power Automate with it because then it's quite a nice way to have a list of stuff for the approver that they can just quickly go through and then keep the information or the, the audit trail stored somewhere that the business can receive it a bit easier. And this is just saying that they're having some filters for the approver to sort of filter, you know, what's what's gone on. So someone, if they've got like, oh, I don't know, 100 approvals, and then someone appears at their desk and says, oh, you've not done my approval, they can like quickly filter and uh, look at the approval title or requested or custom approvals columns to go and find that approval and, and approve it. 